I think we need to go through life with eyes wide open and ask ourselves, how can we live more simply? How can we live more in harmony with nature? How can we model nature? We are Recology, we're the city's recycling company. And we started composting in 1996. We were going to the big hotels because you have many big hotels in San Francisco and these big hotels are like a city unto themselves and they have many conferences, they serve many meals and there's several restaurants inside the hotel. So we were able to find many vegetable peelings and half-eaten croissants and, and where people only ate some of their eggs and these are, it's very nutrient rich type of material. What we're doing, we're just creating the conditions for the microorganisms to eat the eggs, to eat the carrot peelings, and as it passes through their bodies, it, may, it gets broken down into smaller and smaller pieces. And there's tremendous life. These microbial colonies are very happy, and they have babies, and there's tremendous life in the soil. And then we built a market. We, we started to donate and give some to farmers so they could try it. And they had very positive results very quickly. Within three years, the soil on the farms was improving dramatically. The soil was becoming softer, the soil was becoming richer, the roots of the plants, the vines and the other plants could travel further through the soil and reach more nutrients. The plants were healthier and more resistant to disease and the farms could stop using so many chemicals. And, and more bees came and, and then with more healthy soil and more healthy plants, of course, the farms saw a big increase in the amount of fruits and vegetables they were able to produce. So this is another part of the positive economics of zero waste. The more compost facilities we can create, then more cities and more universities can implement compost collection programs and collect all the food scraps from the restaurants, because restaurants are all about food. A tree in the spring comes to life and has many, many leaves in the summer and does all this photosynthesis and pulls carbon back down into the soil. And in the fall, the leaves fall off the tree and they fall to the ground. And they decompose, they compost around the base of the tree. And, the, and that compost feeds the microbial colonies. It feeds the little animals that are in the soil and it makes the soil more healthy. And then the that healthy soil can feed the roots of the tree and the tree can have another year and another life and produce fruit and produce shade and attract birds and just start to listen to the benefit on top of benefit on top of benefit and stop the wind and create more photosynthesis to get more carbon back into the soil. The same thing happens when we have composting in our community. We're just modeling this simple natural process but we're doing it in a bigger way. All the food we eat all the things on our plate came from the farm. They came from a farm from, from somewhere. And so the peelings of the avocado, the peelings of the banana, the peelings of the ends of the carrots, we need to bring these things back to the farm, just like the leaves of the tree go back to the soil.